this is Nathaniel with New York Music Cooperative, and today we're going to be talking about the first four chords you should learn if you're just starting to play guitar. So the very first chord you should learn is called the E minor chord, and this is for one very good reason, that being that it's the easiest one. And when you're just starting to learn an instrument, you shouldn't make things harder for yourself. So, to play the E minor chord, first we're going to take our second finger, which on guitar, that's your middle finger on your left hand. We're going to place it on the second fret of the fifth string. On guitar, we count the strings this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So starting with the small string, going up. So our second finger is on the second fret of the fifth string. Next, we're going to put our third finger, that's your left hand ring finger, on the second fret of the fourth string. So while you place your fingers, you want to make sure that they're as close to the fret as possible without being on top of the fret. This will give you the best sound possible. It will stop it from buzzing or having a muted sound. So once you have these two fingers down, give it a strum, strum down all the strings, and there you go. There's your first chord, the E minor chord. The second chord we're going to learn now is called C major. So this one, we're going to start with the third finger. We're going to place it on the third fret of the fifth string. Next, you'll take your second finger and place it on the second fret of the fourth string. And finally, your first finger, that's your left hand pointer finger, that's going to go on the first fret of the second string. And for the C major chord, we just play from the fifth string down. So strum down from the fifth string. There you go, that's C major. The next chord we're going to learn is called G major. So for this one, we're going to take our second finger and place it on the third fret of the sixth string. Next, we'll take our first finger and put it on the second fret of the fifth string. And finally, you're going to take your third finger and stretch it all the way to the third fret of the first string. So go ahead, give that one a shot you strum all of the strings for G major. So this one takes a little bit more of a stretch than the other one, so if you're having a really hard time with it, for now you can skip the sixth and the fifth string. If you play it from the fourth string down, it's still a G major chord. It sounds similar, so you can play that one in the meantime while you work on that stretch for the other fingers. And the last chord we're going to learn today is called D major. So for this one, you're going to start with your first finger on the second fret of the third string. Your third finger will go on the third fret of the second string. And your second finger will go on the second fret of the first string. And for D major, we just play the high four strings. So take your thumb, start on the fourth string, and strum down. We don't play the sixth or the fifth string with this one. So, now that you know where to place your fingers for these chords, let's talk about how you can practice them, refine them, and get them sounding really great. So the big thing first, get your fingers in position for the chord, and then I want you to play each string individually. Make sure that they're all ringing out nice and clearly. There's two things you want to watch out for. The first thing is any buzzing. So, if I don't push down my fingers hard enough on the frets, we'll get a buzzing sound like that. So if you hear a buzzing like that, that just means you need to press down harder with your fingers. And they'll ring out a lot more clearly. The next thing is making sure your fingers aren't leaning over and touching the other strings. So if I don't curve my fingers like this, my fingers are going to touch the other strings and mute them. So you want to make sure that your fingers are nice and curved and each finger is only touching the string that is pushing down. So if you curve those fingers a little bit more, all those strings will start ringing out nice. Once you have your chords sounding nice, what you want to do is work on switching between them. So for this, the big thing we want to focus on is rhythm. You want to tap your foot at a nice steady beat as slow as you need to and practice switching each chords every four beats. So I'll play it for you as an example. So we'll go E minor, two, three, four, C major, two, three, four, G major, two, three, four, D major, two, three, four. What you want
want to do, if you could play it perfectly, next time you just want to take it a little bit faster. If you're having trouble switching the chords at that speed, just take it a little bit slower. An even better way to practice this is with a metronome if you have one. Once you're confident with your chord switches, the next thing to do is to start applying them to songs. So I picked these four chords for a few reasons. You know, one we talked about earlier, just because they're the easiest ones. You want to start from a good, easy place. Number two is that these chords are very applicable. There's a ton of songs, you know, in today, in the past, in every genre of music that'll use these chords. So if you can master these four, there's probably hundreds of songs that you can play. So I'll give a couple here for an example. If you have any other ideas, if you know any other songs that use these four chords, go ahead, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. So oh, that's it. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you have any questions about this lesson or just even about music in general, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. If you're interested in taking lessons with me or with any of the other wonderful teachers at New York Music Cooperative, just visit us at nymusiccoop.com and we'll get right back to you. And if you enjoy the content and you just want to help out the channel, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone.